While many small school districts around the state are struggling to survive, Clayton School District in northern Wisconsin Great. is thriving. Five, 25. Maury Veyu, Clayton's school district administrator, acts as her school principal. When the previous principal retired, Maury Veyu took on some of his duties, and the school staff also volunteered to help out. That way, the principal's salary was saved and turned into student and family services. We look at our, our kids and our parents and our community as our customers and each other as our customers. And what can we do to make those relationships better? And uh, so we've really tried really hard. Reading comprehension is a big focus at Clayton School, and class sizes are kept small to ensure that every student learns to read well. What's another thing we could do? Christina. Visualize. Visualize. Give me another one. The reading comprehension and the vocabulary are the two central issues that are across the curriculum, across the board. And then there are some specific issues in certain subject areas that we need to address. And they are aligned with the standards. Retired really teacher Sarah McDougall is now the part-time curriculum coordinator at the school. She meets regularly with teams of teachers and with reading coordinator Marge Shoney to assess student achievement across their curriculum. When we look at vocabulary, we're just not talking about vocabulary in the reading area. We're talking about math vocabulary, science vocabulary, social studies vocabulary. Is uh, analyzing information. Clayton's 30 teachers have divided into six teams to assess reading and vocabulary comprehension. Sarah McDougall says it's an effective way for their small staff to integrate reading skills throughout all academics. And the entire staff will divide up into a math team and a social studies team, et cetera, and we'll look at all of the test questions and the standards, and then we will summarize that information. So everybody, the phi ed teachers and the health teachers and the art teachers and the history and English, et cetera, are dealing with vocabulary and reading comprehension. Max wrote a number of exponential form of four as the base and six is oh. x. Math is also stressed at Clayton Middle School. Math teacher Jan Wickbolt's class works in groups to solve hands-on, real-world problems. They're using a chart um, to count the M&Ms, and they're figuring out what fraction uh, the M&Ms are for each color, and then they're changing them into decimals, and then changing that into a percent, and then changing that into degrees, and they will construct a circle graph and measure angles and make the whole circle. Clayton provides an early kindergarten program for four-year-old children. It's a valuable service to their very rural families and a sound beginning to academic success in middle and high school. We know that uh, the quality of daycare is pretty tough to come by uh, in a small community. So what the program does is allow us to uh, get those children in here and start to get them prepared for kindergarten. Since all of Clayton's 442 students in grades K through 12 are in the same building, the staff devised ways for them to meet and mentor each other. This high school senior wants to be a teacher someday and is helping his football coach and math instructor teach math and money skills to an elementary class. You know, I can do this here instead of, you know, sitting in a study hall and doing nothing, being down here working with these guys, and then, you know, in the football game, you know, when I'm playing, every now and then I can hear, you know, go, Paul, you know, when I'm out there. How much money would I get back? They'll eat lunch together. They'll sometimes tutor or give homework help. Shanna Hover is Clayton's elementary and middle school guidance counselor and organized the kinship program. Students must apply, interview, and be recommended for the positions. The younger student um, grows through either the educational process or just the mentoring of a friend. Everyone scattered. From the shadows came a voice. May I assist you in some way? This high school junior meets with an elementary student once a week to play games and read books. <laughs> the thought I get a little sister, I, I never had a sister. Our school being a K-12 building, they see the high school students a lot in passing, so it just creates a buddy and a security and another friend. So how did you decide on this house, John? Well, basically I just uh, researched the internet, if the price was right and stuff. So. So what are Clayton High School offers real-world career experiences, like the school-to-work program. 
and then have a uh, kind of a walk-in closet design. Family and consumer education teacher Eileen Moles supervises students like Jonathan Phillips, who is remodeling a house. How do you plan to show progress on the house as far as in connection with the credit for your school to work then? We got a digital camera, so we're going to hopefully do some photo journaling, and then I hope to uh, write down some of the things I've been learning, like, uh, you know, the R value of insulation and stuff like that, and explain, you know, how it works, kind of. Jonathan's father, Rick, decided to buy the house with his son because the remodeling work will teach John valuable construction skills. We went in basically as a partnership on it, and with the understanding that, you know, he was going to not only get an education out of it, but if it came together as we'd hoped, he'd realize some monetary gains from it too. I'm happy to see that they allowed him to do it because I think as far as a project like this, there's a lot to be learned. I think it'll be a nice house and three bedroom, two bath, you know, decent living place for a family. So basically I get credits to come here and work and con contribute to society. Customer-friendly parent-teacher conference times help parents keep 85% of their appointments and stay in touch with teachers. Clayton also offers transition conferences for seniors and their parents. These meetings with the high school guidance counselor give families a chance to go over grades and graduation requirements. So she's on target to graduate and do a great job. And high school guidance counselor Ed Langham thinks transition conferences are a great way to review right, students' academic work and prepare them for the road ahead. So this has been a great way that we can pull all those things together that we've done as freshmen, sophomores, and even as juniors, their PSAT tests, and also prepare the parents and the students for what's ahead, whether it be a technical college, uh, four-year college, uh, going to work. It's better because then you kind of have a structure, someone there to help you. And we know what classes she has taken and been successful in and what she maybe classes she needs to pick up for college, college prep classes. So it's kind of a good time of the year to check that out. At Clayton School, all students from early kindergarten to high school seniors are provided with resources to ensure their futures will be bright. District Administrator Maury Veyu says the school's success lies with their dedicated staff who find innovative ways to stretch tight resources into creative learning experiences for all of Clayton's children. You have to be really creative. You have to try to uh, use your existing staff and find out what their strengths are and put them uh, uh, you know, in a place where they can be successful. But you're constantly monitoring the budget and uh, constantly monitoring the resources and trying to figure out ways that you can you know, create new programs or enhance programs to take care of uh, kids' needs and provide opportunities for them.